Hey Taurus, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. It should resonate for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Those of you guys that are cross watching, welcome, welcome. This can either be your situation or your partner's. That does go the same for uh, you Tauruses out there as well. Sometimes um, this is a situation, but it's reversed. It just kind of depends. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post readings. Um, also too, please feel free to comment. I really do enjoy your guys' comments and really like reading what you guys have to write. And it kind of just like lets us, you know, communicate with one another, get to know, build the family, right? The fam bam. Maybe we'll all have dinner one day. Who the hell knows? Okay. Um, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop directly into your reading. Who is Taurus's person of interest or who, um, who are they thinking about when they're watching this reading romantically? Taurus interest. Okay, Five of Cups, possibly a Scorpio. All right, let's see, how far can you guys see? I'm like trying to, trying to gauge it right now. All right, um, how does Taurus feel about this person emotionally? How do they feel about this person emotionally and romantically? Okay, Ten of Pentacles, that's beautiful. What's the current situation or issue with Taurus and this individual? situation between Taurus and the person of interest. Okay. Queen of Swords, possibly interference with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody's not talking or somebody's being cold. Um, what is an external influence or a block for Taurus and this person from moving forward romantically? External influence or a block. Okay, Taurus, it's that ass right there, you guys. Uh, or it can be a Cancer or things not being known, right? It's like only allowing somebody to see a certain aspect because it is the High Priestess, so Taurus or Cancer. Um, what's unexpected that's going to happen this week with love and romance for Taurus? Woo! Okay, Seven of Swords. Damn, somebody may be on some fuck shit. That's for sure. Possibly an Aquarius or that is Aquarius energy. And what is the weekly outcome here for Taurus with love and romance? Best potential outcome. Best potential. Ace of Cups. Ew. Hi. I'm here for that. So. Previously. <laughs> on the telenovela. Taurus. Okay. Um, I feel like you guys probably were going through a level of funk, okay? I think that maybe like there was a level of imbalance or something that you guys were trying to come out of. I do think that you guys, um, or let me, let me retract that. The situation was maybe somebody was, um, being a little bit too much like, uh, the six of six of wands ish, right? Which is like very proud, very bold, uh, leading with oneself, a little bit egotistical, um, feeling, feeling very, very good. And I do think that there was some type of conversation here. Maybe somebody asked like, Hey, what is this? Hey, where is this going? Because we have the six of swords. So there's something that definitely changed. There was a, uh, a level of communication pertaining to this this week um even something that unpredictable that could have happened where you know there was definitely this energy or this drive you know to be in this type of situation um and possibly that went wonky because maybe somebody was creeping and saw some type of information or you know something like that because how uh this person is right now, I think you guys are currently uh, at odds with one another because they're coming up as the five of cups. So, you know, definitely emotionally uh, exhausted. Um, and like I said, challenging. All right. So can you give me more information on Taurus's person of interest? Okay. You have the uh, knight of wands. So this definitely can... Uh, 
Knight is is that can be a Sagittarius, uh, Aries or Leo, but then the, this also represents air too. So possibly a Gemini, Aquarius or Libra, but they tend to be the mutable signs, right? So or this can be the airy aspect of you know this person. Maybe this person at times comes up as very immature or un you know uninformed. This person has you know some growing to do. Um, I do think that this person is somebody who is uh, will seek action and they're very giving. But I also think that um, they seek action in kind of doing like digging. Like they're very nosy. And maybe they found something they didn't like. Three of Swords, something definitely hurt them. Okay, something broke their heart. Possibly, you know, having to do with, you know, a family. Uh, you know, being surprised, this is definitely Libra energy. Uh, being thrown off balance by something that, they, that, they, that they've seen. Um, some more information on Taurus's person of interest or you feel like that towards them. Possibly um, an offer was was given or it was rejected with that Ace of Pentacles here. More information. Maybe somebody didn't respond as fast enough because you do have the Four of Swords. So, or maybe, you know, this person was waiting for an offer from you or you were waiting for an offer for them and they took a level of time to really like sit here and figure out, right? It was like, there's a level of stillness also, this is Libra too, right? So maybe your person has Libra in their chart. I don't want to say their sun sign is Libra because I swear to God, if I get one more comment where it's like, oh, I'm not dealing with a fire sign. You're crazy. I'm just going to be like, yo, uh, fuck off. You know, this is the energy of it. We have a bunch of different things in our chart, right? Like I'm a Gemini. I'm mostly water, mostly cancer. So... Okay, a lot of times I come up as the Queen of Cups because I'm fucking cancer. So this person possibly has air in their chart or there's somebody who's very much in their head, right? There's somebody who possibly you're not talking with right now. It could have been over some type of situation that's happened. Um, you know, over something pertaining to you guys working together or some type of family issue. Um, and now this person is really in a period where they're trying to ground themselves and really, you know, uh, trying to figure out where exactly they go from here. Um, I do think that communication is held at a standstill and that's because they're seeking like advice of where they should go from here. Possibly uh, with a Queen of Cups. I don't know if you guys can see that. The Queen of Cups is um, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, the Queen can also be a uh, water sign. So that's pretty much the watery part. This person uh, can be highly emotional or, you know, they're highly emotionally driven towards you. Let me ask really quick how you feel. They could also be asking advice from their mom, right? Or maybe, you know, the fact that you have the Four of Swords with the Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups is Cancer, Cancer is associated with the moon. Like, there's something here, like, subconsciously, like, they feel like is going on. They may not be expressing it. Um, or your partner can be a water sign. Even if they're coming up as a queen, maybe that's more of, like, a feminine energy because the moon tends to be a feminine type of, you know, vibe. It's not necessarily, like, masculine. Um... Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is uh, this is either their mom or somebody that they're close to. I don't think that you don't like them because I said, how does Taurus feel about him? And it's the Three of Pentacles. So, you know, family, group, teamwork, maybe a friend. Or this can be you or how they feel about you or them. Because, you know, you feel very protected. There's a level of protection here. And here's the Ace of Pentacles, okay? And this is definitely somebody that gives you that level of gratification and that offer. So maybe they're in their head about what exactly to give you. Let's move on or we'll be here all day. All right. But I do think that they're stuck. I, I, I really do. Like, I really do feel like they're stuck on exactly what to offer you or what they should give you. 
how you feel about them is a ton of pentacles. So, I mean, I definitely think that you look at this person as husband, wife, you may have kids with this person. Um, you know, you may look at this person as like, you know, who you want to settle down with. If you guys are currently, you know, just dating, um, this is somebody that I feel like you're highly attracted to because you do have the, um, ace of wands, you know, you may think that this person is highly ambitious that they have really, really good energy. There's a level of drive with them. Um, very sexually attracted to them, possibly a Leo. Um, and that there's a level of strength here. But I also think with you, sometimes you feel the need that you have to tame them down because um, in the strength, the woman that's shutting the lion's mouth is actually... Um, the Empress. The Empress is technically you guys. So maybe you guys are really trying to like tame the beast, right? Really trying to let this person know, hey, you can't do that, right? There's a level of immaturity here with this person. And I think for you guys, especially being a fixed sign and being, you know, the Empress, that whole Empress energy, it's like you're trying to train them into becoming, you know, your Emperor or, you know, your better half. What just popped out? Yeah, you're working on it with them. It's like you guys could even work together, but I do think that this person is a work in progress. And I think that you you acknowledge that and you understand that there's a lot of potential here. It's just time and patience are going to have to be put into this. Possibly this person is a Virgo. Um, what is a Taurus like about this person? Ooh. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. The fact that I think you guys have the ability to fix this person. Like you guys have the ability to take something that, you know, needed a little bit of tweaking. And now you guys are like that last piece of their puzzle. It can also be too, the fact that, you know, with the Eight of Pentacles, maybe in the past, you always dealt with people who came at you one way, where this person, because they do have that water and that air um, dominating uh, or, or anything, right? Maybe for you, they're offering you an emotional, you know, stability that's really getting, you know, allowing you to open up and see who they are. Or this person is very different than what you've dated in the past. What is, um, what is Taurus not like about this person? What is Taurus not like about this person? Okay. King of Pentacles. So maybe there's a level of fear here. There's a level of power. Um, maybe this person, you know, wants to be in constant control of a situation possibly, or this is you, Taurus, where you're worried that you're always going to have to be the one that's dominating. You're always going to have to be the person that's like, hey, come on over here, right? Um, and I think that you get frustrated at that because it's just like, you know, I don't always want to have to tell you exactly what to do. And this can be reversed. It just kind of depends. Um, but it's almost like in the card, the chick is scared right? It's like she's scared of, of how this person is being uh, very dominant and very controlling. So there's a level of control here. Um, and it can increase with distance, right? So if you guys are at, maybe you're worried that there's a level of distance between the two of you. Um, and that pursuing this person may not be right, because it just doesn't make sense, right? Also too. Um, or you feel like you're always the one that's putting forth the effort while this person isn't. I mean, that can also be it. But for you, I think you understand that you both have to somewhat meet in the middle if you are going to have this relationship blossom and grow. Your situation is this Queen of Swords. So let me just ask, how does Taurus feel about the Queen of Swords? How do they feel about this Queen of Swords? Three of Wands. I think that you feel like this person has been kind of waiting. Um, what are, what does Taurus feel like they're waiting for? You. Okay. Uh, Empress, maybe this is, they're waiting for you to communicate with them. They're waiting for you 
to come and, and, and have that open, you know, uh, dialogue. One more time. How does Taurus feel about this Queen of Swords? How does Taurus feel about the Queen of Swords? Ten of Wands. I mean, it definitely can be something that you feel like needs to end, right? Moving forward, there's a level of, you know, this needs to end. This energy has to end. Um, you ask, what's causing this Queen of Swords for Taurus and their partner? The Four of Cups. Okay, so... I feel like um, there's a challenge here. It's like something's being offered. It's not enough. Or whatever's being offered isn't exactly what's wanted. So it's like being ignored. It's also, I think, a level of boredom and um, possibly with the, ro the romantic life, maybe, or with like in that sense or like a social sense. But I feel like the Queen of Swords is here to kind of like cut it, cut, cut that. What, what, why is the Four of Cups here? Tower. What's the energy of the tower for the situation? The world. Something possibly could have ended, right? Uh, maybe on your end, or it could have been with a, you know, Taurus, Leo, um, Scorpio, Aquarius, or uh, Capricorn, or an Aries. Maybe an Aries has caused something, because what's the energy of the world? The Ace of Swords. Okay, so this is starting to make sense. There was a level of clarity here, and it could be the fact that maybe like somebody just wasn't happy with what was going on, wasn't necessarily happy with how things were progressing, because you also have the Queen of Swords here. The Queen of Swords is also Cancer, um, as well as uh, Libra. But it's that emotional aspect of things. This could also be, too, the fact that maybe you're finding out about some type of family member or some type of situation with your partner or your person of interest. Um, what was their... Why was there an ending to the talking or what was their clarity on? What did Taurus have clarity on? The tower. Okay, so something fucked up did happen, Taurus. There was a level of betrayal here. Three of cups, possibly with a third party. Okay. Um... How does Taurus feel about this? You feel like you're stuck. You feel like you've sacrificed a lot for this person. And maybe you guys are even bonded together. Possibly Pisces or uh, Aquarius. I just feel like there's a level of change and unpredictability here. This person is in your head. You're in your head about the entire situation. But you know that you cannot stay suspended forever. Like, especially if you want to be with this person, you know that, you know, there is some type of bond between the two of you guys. Even if it's a friendship or you guys have built a friendship, it's like, maybe things just aren't moving in the right way. And I don't mean to say this, or maybe like the sex was whack. Like, sometimes I think like the hangman is like, you know, a level where somebody just isn't sexually aroused anymore but they're fr like it's a friendship so it's hard it's like you that's why you feel stuck sorry about that um okay why does a uh, taurus feel so so stuck on this person seven of swords i mean again I just feel like, and you have the Seven of Swords here too for the unexpected. So obviously there's something here. I feel like you're very uh, off balance right now. There's a level of uncertainty between the two of you guys. And I think that you're just, to keep it 100, like I, I just think, um, how do I explain this? 
I think that you know that with this person, it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort. And, you know, this or you feel like this is just the beginning of what you're going to find out. Because I think subconsciously, you already know what's going on. Sorry, guys, I, I apologize about that. But I feel like there's a level of uncertainty or it's like you're just second guessing everything, which could be what's the external influence or what's the block because you do have the high priestess here. I think, you know, you know, one, it's either you're hiding something. OK, maybe you're the one with the third party. So that's what's causing the issue. Maybe you're hung up because there are other people that you can be with. So you're not sure, you know, which way to invest. However, what I do want to say is this, you know, um, in some cards, the high priestess is like the queen of the underworld. She's uh, Hades' uh, wife that kind of toggles between the underworld as well as, uh, you know, earth. Um, but what's interesting is, you know, she knows things based on you know, uh, what her soul has been through, right? She knows things, it's like a gut feeling. She just knows it. It's like information is downloaded. And even though, you know, people are only seeing one thing, it's like behind that veil, there's so much more, you know, to the situation. And people don't even, can't even comprehend everything that's going on. It's like something, only something is being shown, right? More information. Um, you possibly could be hiding a king of wands here. Um, Leo is strong, coming in strong, uh, Aries or Sagittarius. I feel like you're very sexually attracted to this person. This person is very flashy. I think that they look good. They smell good. And I think that they're very generous. They're somebody that's very giving and caring and unlike the Knight of Wands over here, this person is the elevated version. This person is, you know, the more active, giving. This one is mature. They're formed. They have their life together. Uh, you know, very expressive. Like, they can express themselves. Because how, how does Taurus feel about this King of Wands? Okay, Five of Wands reversed. So this could be somebody in the past that, you know, you had issues with. Um, this could be something that, you know, you had to fight hard for. This could be something that, you know, you were manifesting for a period of time to have forward movement. One more card. How does Taurus feel about this King of Wands? Justice. So possibly a Libra. I feel like you think that this person is definitely balanced. I do think that... It's not necessarily about doing the right thing for yourself, but sometimes it's about doing the hard thing. Why, why is this being hidden, though? What? The Five of Wands. Because you know somebody's watching you heavily. Maybe this King of Wands is watching you, and you're hiding the fact that you know that they're watching you. But you like it. But for you, it's like, unless you're going to act on it, like, don't, I don't want to, I don't, I don't, don't even come towards me, right? Unless your intentions are clear, Hierophant, unless you can give me exactly what, like, tell me which way you're going. Unless your intentions are clear and you have, you know, you know exactly what you want to do. I don't want to talk about it. Possibly they're a teacher, uh, a preacher, that rhymed. Or somebody that, you know, is in the limelight. This can be somebody who is very much, you know, set in religion. Or, you know, somebody that you know from church. But I do think that you need a level of clarity from this person. And that's something, maybe that's why you're not accepting what this person, this other person is offering. Am I right? Is it two separate people? I feel like it's two separate people, Taurus. Is it two different people? King of Wands? Yeah, I think that... Who, who else? Besides the King of Wands, what's the other party besides Taurus? Oh, wait, wait. 
Wait a minute. And the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I do think it's two different people. One of them is somebody from the past, possibly somebody that you married. Here's the King of Wands. You're hiding this person. And then you have the Knight of Swords. This is a person that you're hung up on or that you feel very connected to. Um, this person, for whatever reason, I think that they're giving and, and, and all that jazz. I just think that they're not as matured and they're not at the same point where you are in life. And that's why it's being hidden. Why is this King of Wands blocking? Why are they blocking it? Because they had the balls to make an offer because of you. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. Uh, also can be a Cancer. Taurus, Virgo, uh, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, or uh, Cancer. You're the one that's receiving the offer. You're the one that's being passive where this person is being the active one. They're the ones that are giving you this offer. They're the ones that are giving you something solid. And I feel like it's something that they've expressed to you and it's something that you've manifested. And that's why it's blocking this. It's somebody from your past, possibly somebody that you have kids with that you're willing to reopen that relationship with that's causing, you know, this level of... Uh, where you're stuck. You don't know if you should take the offer or not. Or it can be too, the fact that your partner, it's reversed, right? Your partner has this person that's making them an offer and now they're stuck because they don't know which way to move. It can go either way. So the unexpected, you have the seven of swords. Why? Because of the hermit, a Virgo. Maybe somebody just walks away and doesn't say anything. Maybe this person is, you know, ha feels like they have to leave, but it's hurting themselves to do so. Okay, you do have the Ten of Swords, that's Gemini with the Four of Pentacles. It's like they're holding on to, you know, who they are and they're not willing to like open up. They're not willing to give in to the situation. And instead, it's like they're just going to go ghost. They're going to block, somebody's getting blocked or somebody's just not necessarily, you know, willing to go through the union. Ace of Wands with the, with the Page of Pentacles. It's a very immature energy, I'm telling you. It's like this person is being passive aggressive. And it's like, Instead of communicating with you and just physically doing something, going out of their way to do it, it's like they would much rather wait for somebody to go to them. As I said, that's the chariot. The forward movement needs to be on somebody else's end. That's how that that's how it's playing out, Cancer. Also, too, it's a game. That's another thing. It's a game. It's like, okay, if I do this, then they're going to do this. So it's almost like a mind game or like that level of fuckery because we do have that seven of wands. And, you know, the chariot is seven as well. So it's like they're creating this level of uncertainty or like purposely being unreliable in order to throw you off, in order to, you know, confuse you. But I feel like that it's inevitable, you know, with whatever is going on. That's how I feel. I, I, I really do feel like that. But you are getting a new offer in because you do have the Ace of Cups. So my question is, who's offering it? Because there's definitely two people here. The situation, it's involving three people. Um, so who's offer coming in from? I'm not sure. Um, for those of you guys that this has brought enough clarity, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.